Hello everyone, welcome to Link Frequency. I'm Vaibha Sugandhi. This is second tutorial of Arduino for beginners. In this particular tutorial, I'm going to walk through a brief history about Arduino company. And also, I'm going to discuss about the key benefits why Arduino is so popular. Let's get started. Let me start talking about the simple procedure which we used to do before the era of Arduino. In fact, before Arduino became so popular, we used to do this particular procedure. In fact, when I learned embedded system for the first time, I did the same procedure. Consider you want to develop a small project. It may be a hobby project or maybe a college project or maybe your you know, end goal or maybe a product that you wanted to commercialize in the market. If you want to validate some simple project or if you want to validate some idea, you have to walk through identifying the proper controller for your design. You have to identify the proper sensor that you wanted to use with your controller and you have to integrate the circuit on a breadboard or maybe on a printed circuit board design the circuitry first of all and identify the data sheet and study the data sheet and then identify the programming pattern programming instruction and then you come across the real-time examples or real-time execution of the project you integrate the circuit on a breadboard for that matter and then you are going to design an instruction set or maybe a firmware for that particular circuit to work for you after doing all these things if you want to upload the software that you have written which is a firmware into the hardware which is a microcontroller you have to go through the long process that is converting your software into a binary file and then by using another software you have to upload that binary file or a hex file into this particular microcontroller by using USB to UART converter all these long process is something which we felt very difficult to implement a simple idea if it is a very big project, if it is an industry product, then these projects or these procedures are very wonderful. But when it comes to DIY project, if we wanted to implement some idea in your home as a hobby project or something, this process will create a long um, procrastination in you to develop that particular idea. That's why in early 2000, two engineers or two developers came with the idea. They are sitting in a bar and restaurant and they are discussing about the difficulty in their job. They are discussing about the problems, they are discussing about the opportunities and they are discussing about the how we can reduce this complex process. That's where the Arduino came birth. I was born to rule the seven kingdoms and I will. In fact, Arduino name, that is the name of bar and restaurant in Italy. What? These two innovators, these two creators started thinking about opportunities in industry and tried reducing the process of implementing new idea. In that bar and restaurant, Massimo Benzi and David Millis started thinking about developing Arduino. That is the place where Arduino gave birth. And it started developing its own firmware, it started developing its own hardware and then they started integrating all the things with a team they built for the new company called Arduino Incorporation. That is an inspiring story about Arduino as a whole company. Let us talk about the key benefits why it got so popular. Of course, there must be certain key benefits which made all the developers to adopt to Arduino technology or Arduino platform as a whole to design and develop their DIY projects. First thing first, it made all the complex process easy and less in clicks. Say for example, if you want to develop a new project, earlier I told you the story and journey how the project execution goes. But right now, after Arduino or after having an Arduino development board and the IDE in your computer, you can literally create a circuit by using just a single breadboard and all some couple of sensors and uh, connecting wires. That is the hardware part. And when it comes to software, you can literally learn and write any kind of a code by using a single software and also you can upload that particular code into the hardware just by a single click. This is the beauty of Arduino Development Board and its entire environment. That is the reason most of the early stage adapters, most of the DIY creators, most of the end uh, people who are creating a circuit for uh, learning purpose or maybe uh, execution of ideas, they adopted Arduino for the first time. 
Later in 2004, Arduino became so popular that everybody started using Arduino for their small project. Even in schools and colleges, they started using Arduino for developing any embedded system. Let us talk about the key benefits as a technical person with respect to Arduino development board. First thing first, Arduino is not a controller nor a processor. It is a development board. I saw most of the students saying that Arduino is a controller. Fact is, Arduino is not a controller. Controller used inside Arduino development board is Atmega 328P. So Arduino is a company name and also it is a development board. In fact, if you ask me as a PCB designer, Arduino is just a breakout board. We have a lot of other breakout boards like Arduino, but Arduino got so popular that everybody calls Arduino as a controller, which is not. It is not a processor nor a controller. It is a development board, which can be used for any DIY projects or your implementation of ideas. Arduino has got other key benefits as well. It is open source and cross-platform development, development board and also an environment for writing a program. That means you can literally use Arduino IDE, which is a programming platform for programming other than Arduino development board. In the same way, you can literally use Arduino development board with any other IDEs like MPLAB or maybe a Tinkercad. It also got open source community, which is available for anyone to contribute or learn from. It has got a very rich community in entire world where you can learn so many things from any creator. Right now, I am creating a video, I am creating a tutorial on Arduino, which is again open source. The same way, for any embedded programming or any library development or with respect to hardware development, you can literally ask questions to anyone in the community. And also, it has got a rich library development. It is open source, that's why so many creators like us, they are going to create a lot of library that they feel is important for any DIY project. So if you want to develop any DIY project, you just need to integrate the hardware, you need to purchase the modules and then you have to integrate them and then you have to go to a library where you can just use API keys or just use a simple instructions and you can complete your entire idea execution. In fact, learning Arduino programming is also very easy. Anyone ranging from 10th standard to engineering, they can learn it very easily within one week. In fact, if you ask me, there are seven important instructions. If you understand them, you can pretty much code any embedded system that you want to develop in the first place. These are the key benefits why Arduino got so popular. Let me know your thought process in the comment below why you wanted to learn this Arduino and why you think it is so popular. Do remember one important statement, Arduino is not a controller nor a processor. It is a development board. This is all about history of Arduino and why Arduino is so popular. Thank you so much for watching this particular video. Consider subscribing to our channel Linked Frequency. Tune yourself to make a difference.